on a few everyone i don't have much time today i have i think 20 minutes now and 20 minutes after something i need to do and i really wanted to write it down how we're gonna want to write the ssh app so there is this application called hush and uh this application this library uh, on Rust allows you to create a server and a client for your SSH application. So I going to do a server handler for the server where we're going to receive anything with the client. The client can be anything that uh, can be any terminal. So we're going to start here and I'm going to try to be very quickly. So the first, we have a few things we need to do. So first of all, we have to, um, how can I say, we have to handle you have to handle SSH events, so like with the server, and then we have to. Um, how can I explain? Uh, we have to create the server, have to implement the server, and uh, we have to implement the structure as well to hold the application state. And uh, yeah, so then after that, we can we can implement the handler for the server, and uh, we can add our input. So what I wanted to do is to sh to actually just show. A input form on this SSH application. So I will try to start this soon, and I really, really wanted to make this as quick as possible. So let's start bringing that as of right now. So first of all, we need a struct for app server, and then I'm gonna have the clients, uh, because it's a, this app. Uh, App server is going to manage client sessions and they assess and they in the data. Okay, so we're going to do we use arc. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to find this the student the standard standard sync arc. Okay, so on this here, we're going to have a milk text on standard as well. So it is a mutual execution. So, like, this is going to allow us to receive much clients as we want on the server. So this we're gonna have a hash map on standard as well. So the hash map is like a it's a hash map. So I don't know what I can say. So you're gonna receive a use size and a app, and then app app. Uh, sorry, sorry, and app. Yeah. So and then we're gonna we're gonna declare this app later. So app is going to be a, another struct that's going to hold app. This struct here is going to hold pub, the state of the yeah. So this struct as well. Boom. This guy here is going to hold. So I'm going to just implement this app really quickly because it just need, it's just going to be a new application all the time. So self self new and self counter zero boom so like we have now the clients and uh and then we're gonna have an id as well for the client for the clients and then so we have this guy here app server and uh, the app now we have to implement uh the app server so let's implement app server and app server you're gonna have a new as well we're gonna see self 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 and then uh here we're gonna create clients a new hash map and id we're gonna be zero i think that's it yeah and here as well what we're gonna be able to do now is create a public public asynchronous function because you know we do not need the internet so we need asynchronous function run and on run here i'm gonna receive self then i wanted to just get the result and result like this is a void and so then we can do a we do more stuff here so here on the run is where our server is going to run so first of all we need a configuration for our server so let's uh do config new uh there's a default config new no no there's, there's a default mm -hmm. New default yeah. default I think that exists. This config uh, sorry config is from the server. Yes. Okay, so we have to use here now. 
I don't know. Sometimes it's just weird that this doesn't work. Like, uh, so let's just then default. Okay, so use SSH server config. Yeah, that's it. All right, and yeah, we're gonna use anyhow his result. So yes sorry 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 okay so uh the trade example associated with new implemented with server config use fully qualified path config as example uh, bu, 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 server config. okay so you need something like oh uh, i need to add this kind of stuff here okay Big server id methods there's no default. Oh, there is default. So maybe it just don't need to um, config default. Maybe just need to do that. Perfect. Yes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So now you have self run on address because then this is going to get arc and then new config. Yes, the new config and then on run on address. Can I shift? What button? Sorry, I have to explain. The run on address is gonna, only going to exist after we implement the handler. So we have to do implement for app server. App handler is going to be self. And then, yeah, so maybe. Only gonna exist after the handler. We need to we need to implement not the server. Well, this, we need to implement the server as well, just to just to create the trait server for the server. So just go to do function new client. Yes. Yeah, so we don't need to do anything here at the moment. So this this guy here self. We don't need to pass a handler here at the moment yet because we're going to implement a handler. So let's just uh, let s go self clone. This self clone self id equals plus equal one and return s. That's fine here. So what's this guy saying? Cannot find traits in the scope. But the server is the trait of rush ssh. Okay, so let's just do this. I think then I can just return server here. Hmm. Oh. Maybe like this. Perfect. Okay. Why? Great bond handler is not satisfied because we have to implement the handler. So now we need to implement the handler. So implement. The handler is going to be asynchronous trait. Uh, okay, so let's do here async trait, async trait, and then we're going to implement the handler for app server, create an error, right? And then uh, in the to this, let's see now, boom, yes, it's great. And then this guy here now going to exist. So here now we have like the server server run on address and then um run on address uh, okay so run on address is this function here that can receive self configuration and address okay and then run the server okay so now config address a hey, so socket address so basically, I can actually uh, do here. I'm going to put this on local. On this, okay, 22. Uh, maybe like this. And then I'm going to do a await. Because this is a... Yeah. All right. Good. So now it's running on address because we implement that. So like this. Why this one is not working? And moot. And moot. Hmm, that's interesting. So 
Uh, when mood self, I've handled self fine. Mood, mutable self options. Da -da -da -da. Observer clone. No matter clone found for mutable reference, reference in the current scope. Interesting. Okay. 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 We, we we look at this later because now we have to uh we have the handler to implement and the basically the handler is where we're gonna handle the channel open session so like when the session is open we can handle this so like uh let's i think function the channel open session nice nice name so the channel open session so we're gonna receive a multiple for myself <laughs> I, I say mutable myself, but you know, mood self, this guy here. And then you're going to have uh, the channel itself. But, um, hmm. Should I implement this? I just want to receive the message because, yes, message, and then going to they start this we're gonna have a session as well it's gonna be a multiple session multiple session okay and then this is gonna return a result okay just that okay no the, the result's gonna be boolean and uh an error that's fine. And then return true here. Okay, true. And that's that's perfect. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So now we're gonna get the clients. It's gonna yeah, we're gonna get the client, and then we're gonna do net app. It's gonna be app new. Okay, perfect. And then clients, we're gonna insert the app. And insert and then and then here self ID. Come on, self ID and app. Perfect. Okay, so we create it into the app guys. So here I wanted to add the input form. We can do this later. So we can do like info. Uh, user input, 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 new session, just new session here. Yeah, I just write like this self ID. Oh, yeah, I have to import this guy. Yes, and to actually log in, I'm gonna need to do something on the main, on the main deck. Okay, so self ID, uh, the session is done, and um. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. And then session dot data channel ID. Yes. And then we get a response to and then await this guy. Okay. All right. So the response. Why is response is not? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, the response will be may I add input to so let response format ID. Yeah, that's not that's not this. Okay. So this is guy. And then data into session dot data. Oh wait. It's not a future, trade future is not implemented for. Okay, so if you wrap these guys inside here, maybe you can just do this. And then, yep, no. All right, so I think function. Okay, so then put in 
fixture. Remove their weight. So we remove their weight then. Okay, so that's it. Okay, fine, oh, perfect. All right, so we open the session and here it's going to add the input form. The input form is going to receive a response. Okay, so this is something that you're going to be doing later. Okay. And uh, yeah, so one of the things I wanted to do now is uh, the session data. Okay, so session is the session here. So we need to actually do a few things and um, to return some stuff. So like session data, for example, you would add some stuff. Okay, so then what I wanted to do now it's going to the main now because this yeah, it's gonna have an error as well but then we have to do something very quickly here so we're gonna event logger so we just wanted to do a builder here because then we be able to log in builder to the level and then log log level okay, so boom 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 and then here we're gonna start the server Server is the app server new. Okay. And server dot run, which is our function. Dot await, expect, and then uh, failed run server. Fine. Okay, fine. So, expect a semicolon. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lucas. Uh, Okay, so this is a wait because this is not a async function, and he this is a Tokyo. So like, a, let's do Tokyo here. Hashtag Tokyo main. Yes. Uh, by the way, most of the uh, libraries were added added because I was doing like a a client version of it, but at the moment I I just got this and. Uh, Let's see what's gonna happen. I think it's gonna have a failure failure there. So let's do clear here. Let's see, let's kind of a run. So the self clone method. Okay, so and uh, method not found and look app server. Okay, and you click on this one. So because okay, so that's very simple because you have to add the clone here. So the drive clone here. Now we are allowed to clone. Perfect. And uh, as we're doing here, so let this cargo run and check it out what's going on. Okay, so it runs. What we need to do now is to implement the input. And then this the input's going to be shown as we run the application here. All right. Okay, now that we have run the application, we need now to, to actually uh, create the, the function that's going to show the input. So... If you guys saw the last video, I create a uh, application called Bubbles, and then I'm going to use this now to create a function. So all I wanted to do is a pub function and a show input form. And then on this guy, I'm going to return a string. Very simple. Just return a string. And then um, at root input form. We're gonna use the CLI config. So um, let's go back here. Use bubblers. Yes, and then you get the CLI builder and the CLI config. <laughs> the CLI config. That's the name. And then now we go back here. We do a uh, CLI config. Boom. And then new, you can name it this as a input form and the version and then the version 0 0.1 and then to this uh, this uh, simple put form okay that's the CLI config and then we're gonna create the input form add input that's here so now we need names let's hold the initial text so the name is going to be input form okay and then the description we name it um name of user and the placeholder is going to be um, your name 
your name. I'm just save here just to do that. And then the next your text is gonna be empty. Okay. The label is gonna be your name. So let's get the result. <clears throat> the result is the CLI builder from class input form and return the result. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, CLI builder. Execute CLI and then we get the lab name and then we have the result dot get. Input form unwrap. Then return the name. Uh, get found type in current type not found in okay. um unwrap or why well, there is nothing you would have to pass yes a lot of things i think that's it method get the unit type in the current scope method not found in i think the cli builder doesn't have a get does it um Passing execute CLI here. Yeah. Oh, we don't have get. Okay, so execute CLI. Oh, I'm just gonna get really quick here. So and go to bubblers. Okay, so we don't have a result. So let's just um. Still don't know that. Mm. Um, probably because probably because the implementation still doesn't have the returning so that's just return name to hello to string okay that's it for the moment to show input form so now we need to actually add the input form on our execution so we go back here you see here adding input form so it's just that um input form what well, that input show input form boom data okay session dot data input form okay so for the moment we have this i don't know if it's gonna run let's see no okay cli config is not in the root uh okay let's do again we need to do now is that our service running and we need to connect to the server now uh so our server is on localhost and port 222 so what we need to do now is to do a ssh minus b Two 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 local host and uh yes so we're gonna get the fingerprint from that so gonna do yes and then we connect it so we actually now made our our uh, ssh server our ssh application one of the things i need to do now is that it's supposed to show here now my input is now showing but i don't have much time today i will try to finish this on the next time and I probably gonna be showing. I'm gonna be working this during the week. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record it. Uh, once I able to record, I'm gonna show what I've done, my results, and everything. I'm gonna leave the link of the application on the description down below as the repository. So the first changes and all the stuff. And if you're interested, please let me know and uh, please leave a like, comment down below. And uh, thank you very much. And bye. See you next.